The intensive care unit of Southampton's Children's Hospital admits hundreds of patients each year with a range of medical conditions from heart disease to trauma and neurological emergencies. Effie was admitted with a lung infection and needs constant monitoring with tests like x-rays and ultrasound. Usually these scans are performed by specialist radiologists and they're not always immediately available. This ward has four point-of-care ultrasound machines. These two cost over £50,000 each. But now the same tests can be carried out using a smartphone app and probe, which fit into a doctor's pocket and cost a fraction of the price. Esme is uh, three months old and she had heart surgery yesterday uh, for a condition called Tetralogy of Fallot, which is a problem in the heart where there's four different issues. And one of the complications of that is sometimes fluid around the lungs. And so at Southampton, we routinely do an ultrasound scan of children's chests before taking out chest drains um, to make sure that all the fluid's gone. This ultrasound system is called the Butterfly and consists of a handheld probe which attaches to an iOS smartphone or tablet. This is now filming where the lung meets the diaphragm. But that lung looks completely normal. There's no fluid around the lung, there's no fluid in the lung, the lung's moving well. It costs only £1,699, a fraction of the cost of the larger machines, and its small footprint means it's less invasive at a child's bedside. One of the problems with most ultrasound machines is the design of adults in mind, and so all the presets are designed for adults. And what we've actually got here is a whole variety of paediatric settings as well. So I can select paediatric lung, paediatric heart, paediatric abdomen, but also flip and do standard adult lung. And it allows us to jump between using one probe with the press of a button, rather than having to change the probes in our ultrasound machine over and over to get the right probe. Okay, so let's get rid of all this jelly. Good girl. Well done. Traditional ultrasound machines use piezoelectric crystals, individual crystals cut into different shapes and sizes as different frequencies are used to image different parts of the body. But this also means that different probes are needed. The butterfly uses ultrasound on a computer chip and needs only one probe for different body parts. We're the world's first ultrasound on a chip, a single probe, whole body imaging system. Instead of the typical 124 imaging elements that are in a PZT probe, there are almost 9,000 elements in this. And so we can recreate all the different types of probes with just one. And that becomes really important as you scan different areas of the body in an emergency. You don't have to keep shifting probes. Just with a simple change within the application itself, you can go from heart to lungs very quickly and make rapid decisions on what's actually wrong with the patient. The information from the app can be anonymously sent to a secure server for different doctors to review quickly. The implications for global health for a portable and relatively cheap solution for scanning are clear. An estimated 5 billion people around the world don't have access to medical imaging of any kind. In sub-Saharan Africa, the device is being used to check for pneumonia, the leading infectious cause of death in children under five. In fact, the company's chief medical officer made his own alarming discovery when scanning himself during the device's testing. When we were doing the studies for FDA clearance, I noticed some fullness in my neck. So I put the probe up to my neck and looked at my phone and shockingly saw a very large mass, which ultimately turned out to be a metastatic cancer. Yeah, so I'm patient number one of the butterfly and, and living proof that having an immediate access to an image can change your health and your life. Southampton has bought four of the devices and plan to always have one available in its children's ambulance. When you're stood in front of a child that is critically unwell and you desperately need information, and you are relying on a third person, and you are watching a child deteriorate, and you feel powerless, actually, this gives you the power. This gives you the information to look inside the kid's chest. It gives you information to look at their heart. You can decide yourself within seconds, and suddenly, looking after sick children is a bit less scary. For now, Butterfly is only available to medical professionals, but tests are currently underway with a group of cardiac patients scanning themselves at home. The artificial intelligence built into the device will help guide the patient to the right area to scan, and perhaps with regulatory approval, one day, at-home ultrasound scans could be a reality.